What makes a woman truly beautiful? I'm here to tell you it's not just makeup. Makeup really has very little to do with it actually. Being beautiful is about being passionate, compassionate, driven, confident, smart. But we all have those days where we feel like those beautiful internal things are not being reflected externally. And whether we want to believe it or not, we are treated largely in society by how we look and on our first impressions, which are based almost solely on our appearances. It's not always possible or even desirable to always be done up. Some women don't like the Way makeup feels. Some women don't have the skills to apply it well or even the desire to learn and that's fair. And then for others it could even just be a time issue and I get that too. That's also okay. Today I want to show you something a little bit different from what you're used to seeing here. I want to show you how I get myself from here to here without using loads of makeup, actually without using really any makeup at all. And hopefully it will help you feel more confident too. On a psychological level, people are considered beautiful based on a few key factors. And those factors are healthy skin and hair, big eyes, full lips, and symmetry. In this shot, I just woke up and I'm not wearing makeup. And in this shot, I'm not wearing makeup either, but I look significantly better. What's the difference? Let's break down how to look gorgeous, but more importantly, how to feel better without wearing any makeup. We're gonna start with grooming. This is a huge one. Grooming your brows and getting rid of peach fuzz and facial hair so that your skin is smooth makes a tremendous difference right off the bat. It instantly makes you look like you take care of yourself. I use a spoolie to brush my eyebrow hairs all the way up and then anything that's falling out of the brow line, I pluck. I have this magnifying mirror that's super tiny and really helpful because it lets me see all of the little hairs that I would otherwise miss. When you finish cleaning up under the brows, make sure to take a second to clean up the top of the brow brows too, being careful not to get too close and disrupt your shape by accident. If you have peach fuzz or facial hair, you can get it removed professionally or you can just do it yourself from home. I bought this DIY wax kit from Amazon and it works amazingly well. I use it all the time. All you have to do is turn it on, let the wax beads melt, apply it, wait until it hardens and then rip it off. I do my upper lip like this about once a month. Even if your facial hair isn't obvious like mine, I don't have a lot of facial hair. When you look closely at that strip, you will be shocked to see how many little hairs you actually actually have. There is something oddly satisfying about staring at that wax strip. Healthy glowing skin is another big factor in helping you look and feel beautiful. I use a retinol at night multiple times a week now that I'm in my mid thirties and because it increases skin cell production and exfoliates, it often leaves me a bit flaky as you can see here above my eyebrow. After wetting my skin down, I love applying an exfoliator and really concentrating that fingertip massage on my T-zone where I struggle the most with clogged pores and oiliness. I also exfoliate my lips to make sure that there are no cracks or dry spots. After that, I hopped in the shower, washed that off, and then washed my hair really well. As you can see, just from that peach fuzz removal and exfoliation, my skin already looks a lot better. Now, here you can go in with your moisturizer or you can use a tinted moisturizer, which is just a hydrator with a light addition of color. It's not a foundation, but it's gonna softly blur out any imperfections. If you're gonna use a daily moisturizer anyway, and you should, by the way, if you wanna look youthful and fresh, then you may as well buy one with a tint because it feels the exact same on the skin and does the same thing as one without a tint with the added benefit of a light skin tone correction. I actually have two. I bought one that is my exact skin tone and then I have one that is two shades darker and this gives me a really light tanned glow that I live for. Just like a normal moisturizer, I apply it with my fingertips and because the color is so sheer, you really don't have to worry about it blending out properly or anything. Now, I found this product as well and it's an eye cream but it has some light reflecting properties to it. So it hydrates while blurring out dark circles. You can see how it's brightened my under eye softly without the whole concealer and powder drama. Both the tinted moisturizer and the eye brightener is by a company called Senegens. I am not a huge fan of multi-level marketing companies, but I did buy this from a friend and I fell in love with it. So I signed up just to stock my entire bridal kit with these products because I love them so, so much. 
I am leaving links to everything in the description box in case you're interested. If you're Canadian and you wanna try the specific product, you can buy it from my link and it will help me out because I'll get some commission. But if you are American, I will leave an American link for you. I won't get any commission from it, but at least you will get the products and feel great and that is good enough for me. Now, here is the perfect time to tell you that if you like what you're seeing and want to learn beauty tips and tricks every week, then subscribe to my channel because without your support, I can't continue making this content for you. I appreciate every single one of you that support me and allow me to live my best life as a content creator. All right, after that shameless plug, let's move on. Another signal of beauty is symmetry and the quickest way to show facial symmetry is with your brows. If you don't wanna apply any makeup, a really easy trick is to grab some hairspray and a brow spoolie and brush it through your brows. This will keep your brows in place all day long. Give them a laminated look, but on a budget. Now that we've checked off the healthy skin and symmetry requirements of beauty, we wanna give the illusion that our eyes are bigger and one way to do that without wearing any makeup is to curl your lashes. Curling your lashes will make your eyes look so much bigger and much more awake. If you have really stubborn lashes, you can heat up your lash curler with a blow dryer before doing this step. Let's add some moisture or some fullness illusion to our lips. When you look at a baby's mouth, their lips are always flushed and this gives off the perception of youth. Just like your skin, you want your lips to be super hydrated. So instead of buying a clear lip balm, buy one with a bit of a natural tint. All this tint is gonna do is add a little bit of a flush that will immediately take years off your face. You can also gently pinch your cheeks if you wanna balance that out with a little flushing on the cheeks as well well. As you guys know, hair is so important and volume, no matter who you are, makes everyone look so much better. Sometimes I get this weird feeling that if I don't have makeup on, then I can't do my hair. And that's just really silly. If your hair is clean and voluminous, you will look put together right away. I am blowing my hair out with my blow dryer brush, infusing tons of volume into it at the top. And then when I'm finished, I apply a few blasts of dry shampoo to give myself a longer lasting blow dry. It seems really weird to put dry shampoo on super clean hair but the reason I do it is so that the product is right there ready to collect the oil that weighs my hair down before it has a chance to even do it. Finally adding finishing touches really wraps up this self-care session. I wear earrings every day and I don't even feel like myself without them so I always like to add those in and then I spray on my favorite perfume so that I smell as good as I feel and there you go. These are just a few things that will take you from feeling like a zero to feeling like a 10 without all of that heaviness on your face or eyes. Let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite tip and don't forget to check out these other videos for more ideas on how to feel and look your best. I'll catch you next week. Bye.